What's up guys, if you are shopping for your engagement ring and you have a $3,000 budget and you're looking on Blue Nile, I wanna show you how I would build the most impressive ring possible. It's a couple things that you wanna make sure that you do when you build your ring. The first thing is, is with a $3,000 budget, without a doubt, we can get a one carat diamond. So it's very important when you pick your setting that you get a setting that's right around that five to $800 range so that you can make sure you get a good one carat lab diamond. I'm going to show you the setting that I, the setting in the build that I would use. You can pick any of these, but I would go to their settings page and I'll have this linked down in the video description as well as the specific setting that I'm looking at. But I would sort them from low to high. And I would say anything less than about $700 is definitely where you're going to want to be for your setting to get a quality lab diamond. And they have a few options on here that you can choose from. My favorite without a doubt is the petite solitaire engagement ring setting. And like I said, I'll link it down in the video description, but I really like this setting because it has a lot of style, especially in rose gold. It's got that nice white gold prong, the nice white gold prongs holding the center diamond, and then that rose gold band. It's just very trendy, a very clean look. And because it's only $490, we can really spend the rest of our budget on getting a quality one carat lab diamond, which is gonna make the biggest difference. You definitely wanna hit one carat because that's what's gonna give you the best proportions of your ring. And when your fiance goes to show off her ring or people want to see it, that one carat lab diamond is really gonna pay dividends and the proportions and the size are gonna look very, very nice. Now keep in mind, because we're going with a lab diamond, we're able to build this ring for right around $3,000, but if we were to build this same ring with a natural diamond, this would be a seven to $10,000 ring based on the specific specifications of our lab diamond. So you can understand why this ring looks so good for such a $3,000 ring because it looks visually identical to a seven to $10,000 natural diamond. So, so when it comes to sorting through the diamonds, we're gonna go ahead and click on lab grown diamonds here at the top. I'm gonna use a round diamond for this example, but the great thing about that solitaire setting is that it looks good with any diamond cut. So if you have a particular idea of what your fiance likes or you want to pick a different cut, you can go ahead and deselect the cuts that you do not want. They're all selected uh, by default. So I'm gonna deselect all those and I'm just gonna go with round for this example, but these same search parameters apply to any of the diamond cuts. Now for price, we have right around $2,500 to spend since our setting was 500. I'm gonna set the maximum price to about 2,600 just to make sure that we have a little bit of leeway and we can see all the diamonds that are available. For the carat weight, we wanna make sure we're at, at least one carat. So I'm gonna set the minimum carat weight to one. Now when we take a look at color, I'm gonna make sure our color is G or better. Our cut is ideal or better. This is very important. We do not want to, to compromise on cut. We want ideal or better. And for clarity, I'm going to go with VS1 or better. That's a very safe bet. Now, if we click on more filters, there's a couple more things we're going to want to filter out. For polish, we're going to want excellent. For symmetry, we're going to want excellent. And fluorescence, we're going to want none. Now, in sorting through the diamonds, the basic thing that we're looking for here is good symmetry and just the overall geometry of the diamond itself. So we take a look here and see if there are any that catch our eye. This one right here actually looks really good to me. This is a 1.06 carat round ideal cut D VVS one. I really like that. Going to go ahead and click on it. Take a look at the 360 view here and let's just see if there's any imperfections or anything that we notice. This actually looks very, very clean, very sparkly and very nice. So something like this would work perfect. We're right where we want to be for our budget, $3,081. So we have about $2,600 for the diamond, 490 for the setting. And like I said, this is gonna be a seven to $8,000 $8, ring is what it's going to look like. But because we're using a lab diamond, we can get that one carat size for right around $3,000. It is very, very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. And I appreciate you guys watching this video. Best of luck on your diamond engagement ring shopping.